good morning, happy Saturday, and May the 4th be with you. Yes, today is known as Star Wars Day, really only because of the line, May the Force be with you. And since Force sounds like fourth, kind of, we have Star Wars Day today. So, yeah, I mean, what can I say about Star Wars that hasn't already been said by every living, breathing individual over the last 30 years? You know, they have iconic characters, iconic music, you know, famous battle scenes, etc. And, yeah, we're always going to make fun of the, uh, you know, prequels, particularly, you know, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. But, with that said, even in those bad movies, there's still some good in them. I mean, in a way, it's kind of like what I said about you know, the NFL drafts, I mean, we want a move, we want, like, you know, those players to succeed, you know, we, we want, like, the Star Wars movies to succeed, of course we do, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't quite work out, and, you know, that's, that's a part of life, although, speaking of a part of life, all really is not well, if the Force... We actually lost a Star Wars actor a little while, just the other day. Peter Mayhew, who was Chewbacca the Wookiee. Mm hmm. Yep. We're losing more Star Wars actors more often now. I mean, Kenny Baker, Alex Guinness, Carrie Fisher, Peter Mayhew. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still, I mean, they may be gone, but their legacy will always live on in here and here, and that is beautiful. And, uh, yeah. Although, while I don't have a Wookiee, I do have a bear. So, really glad I have a bear by my side times like this. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, I told what my overall thoughts on Star Wars are before, but just for a quick recount. I mean, of course I saw, you know, the original trilogy back on back when it came out on VHS. So, oh, sorry. To y'all you uh, younger kids out there, VHS was actually a large, uh, not large, but kind of like um, a black rectangular prison that you would put inside of a kind of player, and it would play it on your TV. It was actually really cool. I actually had, like, a giant collection of, of, like, those videos from, like, way back when. Let's just say when he... Although a lot of my... This is going to sound really silly, but... Well, actually, I'm positive that my parents probably still have the, uh, you know, VHS collection, but, um... I mean, I have VHS tapes of, like, Disney movies, the Star Wars movies, you new name it, I got, I mean, I think the ones I collected the most just because I loved it so much was Thomas the Tank Engine. I mean, granted, I actually watched Thomas the Tank Engine, you know, when I was, you know, age appropriate, but well, who can blame me? Thomas the Tank Engine was awesome. I mean, I'll put it to you this way. Back when I was a kid... You know, I said that my favorite color was green. It's one of the reasons why, when I was younger, I did like the Green Bay Packers for a while. And one show I would watch was Legends of the Hidden Temple, and they had the Green Monkeys. My brother, on the other hand, would root for the Blue Barracudas. And I would always loathe the Blue Barracudas. I mean, I don't anymore. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Because, I mean, it's a game show. It's a kid show. It's, it's all good fun, right? But I hated blue so much that nothing, like, if it was blue, I purposely wouldn't, like, go anywhere near it. Thomas the Tank Engine was the exception to that rule. I'll, I'll put it to you that way. That's how awesome Thomas the Tank Engine is. So, I think Thomas the Tank Engine is still popular with kids. Is, is he? I hope so. I mean, not looking back at it, the, the really awesome thing about Thomas the Tank Engine, especially... Because, 
I think it was like 2011. I got, you know, nostalgic. So, you know, luckily they have like all the Thomas the Tank Engine shorts on YouTube practically. And so the narrator or Mr. Conductor was always either a Ringo Starr of the Beatles or, um, or, uh, George Carlin, who is known for saying seven words that you shouldn't say on television, radio, and there are seven words I definitely shouldn't say on camera. <laughs> so, yeah, looking back on it, that was, uh, that, that, that was really cool. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Um, so, I've been thinking a little bit hard about this, and it did not even occur to me until just the other day, but, um, I mean, you guys know I talk about training pawing a lot, and you guys do know that, um, and you guys do know what my story is involving um the kind of place I was in at the time but it didn't even occur to me that the year of Trinity Pauling is actually almost over like it was Memorial Day weekend when I graduated from there and you have yeah it's like just over three weeks from now and then it's over well it's over for the seniors who actually kept their grades up. The underclassmen have to be there another week for finals, which I don't really know what uh, what to say. It occurred to me that Trinity Pauling was coming to the this year. Trinity Pauling was coming to an end when um because they'll do like uh sports highlights, you know, for fall, winter, and spring, and you know they mention oh there's 26 days left until. You know, graduation for the seniors and you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's pretty, um, that didn't, I completely forgot that occurred to me. But, uh, yeah, I really, uh, now I think about it, my 10 year reunion is coming up for that. I mean, obviously I'm going to be going. Question is, well, actually, it really isn't a question. I mean, if I go to my 10 year reunion, you can bet there's going to be some videos I'm doing up there. Like, important ones, like, that include, you know, um, you know, some very special guests that I'd like to, uh, introduce y'all to. And long-time viewers would know who they are. Because some of those long-time viewers are said guests, but that, that's either here or there. Uh, um, man. I mean... Although, yeah, yesterday was, um, I'm trying to think of, yesterday started out, like, really nice, but then we heard, like, 2.30, we were going to get, like, a torrential downpour, and we did, and now it's supposed to rain again. Yeah, apparently, I like to think that, like, there was, like, a dam up in the sky during, like, the month of April, and just yesterday it was finally taken down. And that's why we got all the rain, because, you know, April showers bring May flowers, but we could, we clearly got all of that rain yesterday in, obviously, the month of May. So, yeah. I thought it was funny. It downpoured really hard for, like, a good half hour. And that stopped for, like, several hours. I'm like, are we in the eye of the storm? Is just a really big eye? I don't know. Just, I mean... It rained again, and obviously it got, um, got, you know, I mean, it was cloudy. It was, I mean, at least it was warm. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure we would all take, you know, rain over snow. Although, speaking of snow, I got myself Italian ice yesterday, which was awesome. You know, uh, I mean, you guys know I go to Rita's whenever it's open every, every Friday. Mm. Seriously, if I don't get Rita's once a week, I think I would probably die. And then I wouldn't be able to make videos anymore. It'd be very sad. Very, very, very sad. Um, so, don't really know what this weekend's going to hold. Oh, actually, one thing I did forget that was today is the Kentucky Derby. I completely forgot the Kentucky Derby was today. I mean, I always kind of forget that, I mean... 
in my defense, you know, horse racing really isn't as widely known or as popular. I mean, I'm pretty sure the entire country pays attention to the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes. Like, those are, like, the big three horse races. Because, you know, if a horse wins all three of them, you know, they they get what's called the Triple Crown. And uh, if you recall last year, you know, we got a Triple Crown winner in uh, Justified. Three years prior, we got another Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh. I remember I was sitting next to my grandfather on my mother's side when I saw American Pharaoh claim that Triple Crown. But until American Pharaoh, we didn't have a Triple Crown winner for like 35 years. Yeah, oh, well, def actually, I, I take the back. It was like 33, maybe? Actually, actually, yeah, between like 35 and 40 years. It was a pretty long time. I think it was 78 that a firm got, and then, sorry, I got to look this up. This is, um. This is, uh, hold on a second, I'm trying to find the, uh, all right, uh, Triple Crown winners, here we go, it's, it's only going to take a minute, um, okay, so, yeah, it was affirmed in 1978, and American Pharaoh in 2015, that's what it was. So, 20, 37 years. There's 37 and a half years. Old. So, yeah. So, yeah, somewhere between 35 and 40. I was actually on the ball right there. Well, I said 35 first, but we was playing, if we were playing prices right rules, I got it. I mean, I really don't know who's racing today or what's going on. I do know that there's this one uh, jockey, those are the people that ride the horses, that is going to be like going in as like the oldest jockey to ever ride in the Derby. That should be pretty, that should be pretty neat, I guess. So, are we going to get a Triple Crown winner this year? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I mean, again, when, when it comes to stuff like that, I really do want there to be a Triple Crown. I mean, whoever wins today, of course, I want them to win the Preakness and then the Belmont. You know, I want them to succeed. I do. I mean, I... Again, it's like wanting a good movie to be good. Or wanting a, a, a important movie to be good. Or, you know, uh, a pick of the NFL draft to do well. Like, we want only the best. We want them, we want, like, only success for them. And, you know, sometimes it simply doesn't happen. It's not necessarily their fault, but stuff like that happens. That, that's, that's a part of life. And that, uh, Man, today really, it really talked about, it seems like an ongoing, like, theme here. Huh. Oh, well. Well, I guess in terms of what I'll do today, I'll probably be visiting my folks later. I, I mentioned a while ago that I introduced my dad to Rick and Morty. And the, and, uh, the, uh, last two episodes of season three are going to be on tonight. So... I'll probably stick that, I'll probably watch that with him, and then I'll probably head home, so, that's gonna be really cool, and, um, yeah, all in all, this is, uh, this is a pretty good Star Wars day, it's looking like, you know, we have Star Wars today, Cinco de Mayo tomorrow, Goku Day on May 9th, but we'll get into that when we get to that, and, uh, yeah, so, like, favorite, you and hit that subscribe button. I could really use the support on YouTube. Oh, forget that. Oh, you know, just, you know, just like, favorite, hit that subscribe button. If you want to support me on YouTube, please go right ahead. If not, I'm okay with that. You know, follow me on the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. As always, I am very humbled. I made this video for every hours to watch and enjoy for today. I'm hoping that we all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Saturday and a wonderful Star Wars day. And remember, for you guys ever want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to lend an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care. Make good choices. And may the fourth be with you.